Hey dudes, and oh my god, I am so ridiculously late for this video. This month just got so crazy with work and the sticker shop with the fundraiser, and uh, it was just like so impossible for me to get this out on time, so I'm just so, so sorry for that. Unfortunately, YouTube and art isn't my full-time job, so it's just really hard for me to balance my hobby with my career, and it's just, ugh, you know, I'm working on it though. I'm working on it. I think I've figured out a system for next month, so we're gonna try that out and I'm gonna try to pump out as many videos as I can that I've been meaning to work on, so we shall see how that goes. And would you look at that, the first mistake of this video, but that's okay, we do not fear mistakes on this channel. For this week's spread, I'm going with a classic box layout with a little event section for meetings and you know, that's pretty much it. It's not like we're really going out or anything anyway. That's like so 2019. And credit to the queen, Amanda Rachelie, for the idea of the event section. For those of you who are curious, when I'm not doing a timeline spread, I'm actually using Notion or Google Calendar to block out my day. I'm a strong believer that Notion and bullet journaling can work together. I don't really feel that pressed to be loyal to only one. I'm just really big on trying out what works for you. I know a lot of people who bullet journal feel like they're stuck in it, but that's just really something that we impose upon ourselves. This is an open relationship. It isn't cheating. Do what feels right. This philosophy doesn't necessarily play into my love life as I am possessive, but that's a, you know, a different issue for a different time. This is my planner life. This is how I live it. But in the meantime, we're drawing guava. I am personally a huge guayaba fan. Firstly, they're so cute. Like a natural bright pink and green color combo. I'm all for it. I actually have like four guava trees in my back slash front yard. So during the summer, they are bountiful in my diet. Guava nectar also just reminds me of Hawaii, which is one of my favorite places in the world. So I would be remiss if I left it out of my juice spread. Also, side note, thank you so much to everyone who commented about the juice versus nectar thing. I feel so educated now. Similar to my previous weeklies, I'm drawing the see-through juice box and yes, yes, the straw disappears and it's on purpose, trust. If it really bothers you, go ahead and draw the rest of the straw, but IMO, it looked cluttered with the straw. The juice box is a pretty small drawing and it already has a lot of things going on inside of it, but again, it's all up to you. You know, you are entitled to your feelings. I'm entitled to my invisible straws. We are all good in this neighborhood. Again, I am making the left side of my spread pattern throughout the whole page and leaving the right side relatively minimal. I wanted to continue playing with this idea of like different but cohesive since every single weekly is like its own subgenre of the main monthly theme. I thought it'd be fun to bring that to the weeklies and make each side of the page like slightly different from each other, but still cohesive. But I am throwing washi tape all over the place on both sides. That's just been the vibe that I've been feeling lately. On the right side, instead of drawing a pattern all over the page, I am containing it to this little box and I'm also throwing some sparkles here and there. Moving on to the next spread, we are going deeper, we're going darker, we're going berries, y'all. Mixed berry juice is something I remember very clearly in the Costco juice box pack, if anyone knows what I'm talking about. It's like 24 pack, maybe, and there were three different flavors, so eight of each. Look at that quick math. I remember always fighting for apple, like apple would always be the flavor that ran out first, but mixed berries was definitely a solid second to fall back on. So if you look really closely, you can see that there's black stuff all over the page and that's because that the ink from the ruler was spreading onto my hand and I was just like wiping it all over the page. So, you know, that's really something. 
For this bread, I'm going with a timeline spread to mix it up with the previous bread. And again, I am splitting the page in half. So on the left side, I'm going in with the marker to draw out the timeline. And then on the right side, I'm going in with the black pen. Here, I'm drawing a see-through strawberry. I'm honestly really digging these like see-through fruits. Like really, really tempted to create an entire sticker sheet of just different see-through fruits. I think that they're so freaking cute. So let me know if that's something you guys would be interested in. Also, I'm really in like a sticker sheet mood right now. I just want to create a bunch of sticker sheets, but I'm fresh out of ideas. So if you guys want to see anything specific from me, let me know in the comments below. I don't know about you guys, but I find deeper colors like really hard to work with. So when I chose this deeper wine color, it made me really nervous, but I'm really glad I did because I still think it came out to be really cute and it really challenged like my knowledge of color theory. It's really good to step outside of the box and I feel like this entire spread, like this whole monthly spread, I've been sticking with like pinks and greens and that's like where my comfort zone is. So I'm really glad I ended up choosing like this deeper color. Also, I'm so sorry I say like so many times. That's, that's my bad. Here I'm drawing the pattern contained in a box. This will actually be on both pages, but offset. The left side of the page will also have a pattern all over the page, but I don't really know what that was about. I think I got really sleepy while filming because this contained pattern was only supposed to be on one page, but you know, what are we to do? When creating a pattern, I always start with the bigger, more flowy shapes, and then I fill it in with the smaller shapes, just continuing to fill it in with smaller and smaller shapes until it looks good. When in doubt, just throw in some dots and it'll look cute. I'm not a professional pattern maker, but so far this has worked for me. Finally, I'm just throwing some more washi tape everywhere and adding on a task section at the bottom of the page and of course some sparklies everywhere because why the heck not? And that's it for this video. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching this video. And thank you to everyone who supported the shop and the Stop Asian Hate fundraiser stickers. It really means the world to me and I really hope to be able to do some more fundraising in the future. But for now, peace out my dudes.